Anyway. Oh, you, you got a you got one? <laughs> <laughs> we was just talking about that about a half an hour ago. I said, Sam, have you ever laid your rod down? He got off. He, he got off? I said, got, let me put this rod up. I said, you ever look, laid your rod down and want to take off with it? Look, that, 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 look, that cream <laughs> is so good, they want to get up in the boat and bite that thing. Boy. Oh, that's good. funny. I'm going to have to lay it up on the bank. One might <laughs> run up there and get it on the bank. Oh. So what is happening, people? Hey, guys, Big Sam coming at you today. Hey, look who I got with me. Dennis Howdy, Gilmer. Hey, y'all. Uh, Lake Country Baits. He's my sponsor for baits. Fishing Lake Country is his YouTube channel. Dennis came up, we are fishing for creek crappie today. We're gonna go over some things that we look for in these creeks this time of year to catch these crappie. We're gonna show you some new baits that Dennis has came out with. We're gonna fish those new baits today. So guys, come along with us, and I hope you enjoy the video. And we're gonna catch some big fish. Look, that's shad. We got that, Dennis. All right. So Dennis, so Dennis, Dennis brought his own live scope box today. He got his 54 amp battery in there. He got his black box. Yeah, this one. Got to lock it down here. <laughs> Didn't want to lose my wrench. You got yeah, all these hook it up and she's check got it off. Mount gonna, right here. I got this is a bus box. So I got my power going got to that. Live scope pole here. And that way, he can set his live scope up on one side, and I have my live scope on the other side, so we are ready for the tournament. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what are you saying? We are ready, we are ready to tournament, tournament fish now. <laughs> Grenada in March, the national <laughs> tournament. Hey, we're gonna go down there and win that thing. <laughs> I got a double in there, let me get my rod. I brought that with me. There he is. All right, all right. Well, we got one on the board. And uh, that's a decent crappy. Hey, he's 10 and a, he's 10 and a half. Yeah. We good. put them, if they over 12, we put them in the live well. Okay. For a picture later. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, he hit the grenade bug. So I got the grenade bug on. And Dennis is with me today so he can help me keep up with the colors. And uh, that is a banana pepper with the white belly with the black tail. And that's the one C had said was so good on uh, Grenada, right? Yeah. That and right there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, he said the tail colors were surprising. Yeah, so that was a good one on Grenada. Yeah. So we're going to see. I got it tied on the top and then about... 15 inches below, I've got that other one. Got two 1 16th heads. Yeah, he said he didn't know what was better, the purple tail or the black. He said both was working good on that, that one. They both probably look a lot the same. Yeah, so. for the fish. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've been fishing here a little bit. Uh, we've been taking our time and uh, trying to figure out where the fish are, whether they're on the stumps on the side uh, or whether they suspended out in the middle. And so when you come fishing in these creeks, we are not going to bypass any of these stumps along the edge that we see. Uh, there's, there could potentially be really nice crappie around those. This one was suspended out in about 15 feet of water uh, with several others. And uh, I switched over to the double rig jig just so when I drop it in there, I can get down pretty quick to the fish. Boom. Hey, let's go get another one. Hey guys, if you enjoy content about fishing, fishing tips, fishing techniques, different color lures, then be sure you hit the subscribe button below, subscribe to the channel, be a part of the Wildlife Adventures YouTube community so you'll get the first notification when a new video comes out. And hey guys, thanks to all my subscribers. Mm. There he is, that's a good one. I'm going to put it on the spot. It's the first big one I've got to hit me. The rest of them have just been falling. Maybe. Good fish right there. Yeah, I'm going to pick him up. Look at that. <laughs> Dennis is one of the beasts. Good gracious of life, buddy. Cat, I finally caught a decent fish, Cat Dance. Good gracious. <laughs> oh, I can't pick it up. My mind's stretched. Yeah. All right, guys. 
Yeah, I, good I, fish. I've been, I've been in, I ain't had my mojo this morning. I told Sam, I sat down and retired. I said, I'm gonna put on a bait that I know I'll catch fish with. Killer! The killer color. Killer color. I said, I mean, you can take this killer color anywhere. Blue boy top, pearl belly, it works. Mmm. Bam, that's a nice fish there. Good fish. You want him? He's 11 inches. Oh, I don't know. I think he's probably, I would say he's 11 inches. Yeah, yeah, put him in the live well. All right, guys, I'm on the board. Bam. Boom. Catching any size? No, maybe right at 10 inches. Yeah, that's probably 10. Get 10 inches, but I'll get it. Ain't back here like they used to be. I caught some, uh, white bass are bigger than crappy now. I caught this one. This is pretty good. Yeah, that's good. I, I caught, I, I had, I don't know, I had six would have probably been over 12 the other day. Really? I can't get one. People keep too damn many of them. Well, there's plenty of them in here. Yeah, there you Boom, that's another good one there. You need to keep some how, of the small ones. How long is, how long is he doing? That's 11 inches right there, bud. Yeah, that's a nice one. Go grenade bug. Kaboom. Yeah, what's wrong with that one? You might have to put him in the live well just to... Yep. Oh my gosh, you that. Yeah. Let him do it. Yes, sir. That's what we're down here for right there. Mm. Damn, mm. look at that monster. That's a pig there. Good gracious. That is a good one. Real good. Yes, sir. Didn't even have the camera on. Mm-hmm. Good gracious. Good gracious. That's a good one right there, y'all. That's what we're down here for. That's 13 right. and a half definitely, inch cranky. Definitely a good one. 13 and a half inch cranky. Shoot. You got it? Yeah, pretty small one. Grenada bug. Grenada bug. Kaboom. Catch a few of them. I'm, they're, they're, that tree comes to within. I mean, they're not hitting it uh, like they really, really wanted to at that time. He just. Boom. Old grenade bug. Look here. I'll get in it. Y'all see that color of that water behind me? I'm gonna show you something. That grenade bug. That color right there. That grenade bug from Lake Country Baits. And I'm telling you, this lights out. If you fish this dingy water right here, color like this, you got to go to Lake Country Baits and get some of those grenade bugs. I mean, I'm telling you, that's a absolutely great color to fish. Man. Hey, let's go catch another fish. Telling you that grenade bug. All right, I'm gonna switch colors, Dennis. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna switch to one of the test colors. I had to get a few fish up on Dennis. See, that's why I fished that grenade bug. <laughs> so then I'm gonna go to the test colors. You're doing good. Yeah. I'm trying to catch, learn the technique here. I'm doing something. My first time I've done this year. <laughs> it's November. Well, you can cast them if you want to. So I've got two more colors on here. This is that that uh, banana blue color here and this is the yellow flamingo i think that's the yellow flamingo yellow flamingo yeah banana banana flamingo banana flamingo there again they are about 12 to 14 inches apart two sixteenth ounce jigs and uh i'm gonna just flip it out to them and hey see if we catch a fish You got it. You got that down. Now that's. You see that look? Now, everybody can't catch fish that small, y'all. I, I just can. want you to know. Look, everybody can't catch fish that small. I can. I don't got <laughs> too small on that. <laughs> what I was waiting. Doubles. What I was waiting for right there. I seen him roll up and hit it. I just happened to turn around and look back at my death finder. I was watching you, and I seen the fish heading towards it's his... a nice fish, Dennis. That made a vertical move, and it was... then I felt the hit. Nice fish. 
Yeah, man, he likes bluegrass same as I do. Nice fish. Nice. You got a nice fish right there. Yeah. Oh, boom. It's there. Oh, I told you that bluegrass would work, bro. I was going to call it, so I call it one blue moon. You know who the king of blue moon is, Blue right? moon. Bill Moreau. Really? Blue moon of Kentucky. Remember that oh, song? Yeah. That's why I it's call this bluegrass. Put him in a lab. Yeah. You've got to be listening to some bluegrass. Bluegrass. Blue moon. Yeah, man. That's why I listen all the way down here. Listen to bluegrass some more. <laughs> listen to that bluegrass. All right. This one's not as big as the one Dennis had. He's nine and a half inches. Hit that creamy. And uh, basically, we're just going along, and we were looking for these stumps out here in the center of the river, laydowns that are out in the river, and it seems to be, we seem to be catching more right around the structure today than out in open water, so. Mm. Oh, that's a pig. That is a pig. Mm. Doesn't change colors. Oh. That's a good one. Look, he caught that on the, look, the black tail. Caught that on the banana pepper with the black tail. Yeah, and a pink, light pink belly. That's the one Sid said he pink loved belly. belly. Yeah. Light pink yep. belly. Oh, boom. Good gracious. Yep, mm -hmm. that's pretty one. On a stump, y'all. He's sitting on a stump. Yeah, I think you, I think you found the secret. Big one's inside. I don't know. He's pretty nice. Well, well y'all see the other one. The other one's, <laughs> the one with him was twice the size. Yeah, that's a good Damn, fish. Damn, it's a good one. Oops. Yeah, show him to my camera, too. What? That's a good, look at that. <laughs> that's a nice one. Okay, that's a good fish. Look how thick he is. Oops. He's probably 12 inches. This would get some, they get thick like oh, that. Oh, yeah, they get thick. Oh, that's some yeah, fillets in that baby. Boy. Yeah, oh, he's 12 inches easily. I would mm. say, yeah, I would say he's 12 inches and a 16th. <laughs> well, a 16th. <laughs> yeah, somebody commented here a while back, they like my measurements. I said, well, I'm not trying to get precise. Uh -uh. Yeah, I seen him move. One was following me. You got him. See him. You got a nice one? Yeah. You know that? We finally had a spot where there's a few fish, guys. Yeah. A little good fish there, Dennis. And then caught two or three in the same little spot. Gracious. But it come up there and see your papa there. Gracious. And there's a little bit of cover here like I showed you just now. Mm -hmm. The last mm. clip. Well, like we out there right there, boys. Good gracious. Look at that. Grenada bug. Mm. That's what that's called, Grenada bug. The Grenada bug. Oh, that's creamy. Dennis just corrected me. That's creamy. <laughs> it changed my lure. Look. You had Grenada bug on the The Grenada bug has a white, clear yeah. tail. That's right. That's, that's the only difference. Tail. They're both very, very close. I did change yeah. a few minutes ago. If you look at the comment that Sid made on the page, he's fishing Grenada all times, guys. He says Grenada bug and that creamy. He said creamy is one of the best colors he's ever used on Grenada. Yeah. Or, or one of the best colors he's been using on Grenada. Put that well, I know fishing it last year when you come out with it, anytime I got muddy water, I always had at least one tide on. There are several other colors, you know, the <clears throat> banana pepper is good too. And, uh, you know, Dennis has been catching them on that Slayer, which has a blue color. And uh, anyway, hey. oh, you, want, you, got a, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> we was just talking about that about a half an hour ago. I said, Sam, have you ever laid your rod down? He got off. He, he got off. I he said, got, let me put this rod up. I said, you ever look. laid your rod down and want to take off with it? Look, that, 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 look, that cream <laughs> is so good, they want to get up in the boat and bite that thing. Boy. Oh, that's good. funny. I'm going to have to lay it up on the bank. One might <laughs> run up there and get it on the bank. Oh, that's funny. Good gracious. Yeah. I've had that happen to me a couple times when I've laid my rod down and they grab it. Well, that was out this week. It's a good coat. Yeah, decent fish. Oh, yeah. Tim and live well. He's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Bam. Yeah. Come up one every now and then. <laughs> oh yeah, good yeah, fish. That's, that's a good uh, stay in water color. It's pink lady belly, light flamingo back. To, not a real dark flamingo. I didn't want it too dark. I want it like for, like for light stain water. It's perfect for this water, isn't it? If you're fishing light stain water, that's a good color, guys. Pink panther. Pink panther, is that the new one? That's called a panther. No, I've had it on site. Really? Come up with uh, Dennis. I'll tell you what. What's that for? Good gravy. Mmm. Huh? Huh? Come on, some nice ones there now, man. That's another good one now. You've been hard on the nice fish Look, today. 
hook, a kind of deep hook. Now that's how you know a fish is eating. He's got it all the way down in his throat. Because I'm talking wanted. about, boy. Then they want to eat when they get like that. He wanted they? it. That wasn't going to get away from him. Yeah. Another nice one right there, 11 and a half inches. Boom. So what we talking about, the Dennis and I have been talking about how we're getting around a lot of these fish and some of them are, you know, only six or eight foot are sitting on these stumps and, you know, you try to sit as still as you possibly can, but when we put it on spot lock and that trolling motor goes to work and these fish just spook away, so we kind of stand over to the side trying to stay out of the wind and just bumping the trolling motor just as little as possible. And, uh, seems to help the bite. It keeps the crappy stationary enough that you can actually get the lure to them and get them to bite. So, uh, you know, they don't necessarily afraid of the, uh, you know, if they was afraid of the uh, live scope signal, we got two running up here on front, so they would all be gone, but that, that boat in the shadow. And, uh, so in other words, I would prefer the boat to be up against the bank stationary it pitch out a little further to the fish and give them the opportunity to bite instead of getting maybe say right over top of them. Probably getting that. I'm gonna tell you. Oh yeah. Another good one, y'all. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Woo! You barely reached him. Good that is a good one. Yeah, what them? Ooh, I'm telling you, that creamy boy. Yeah, the, the creamy's been a big seller. I probably got to make that the banana pepper has been selling like hotcakes. Mm -hmm. He got a good hook set right at the top of the mouth. That's probably what he I need to do. He was sitting on the bottom, didn't he? Uh, supposed to rain Friday. That's what I need to do Friday. He was sitting right on the bottom. Huh? He was off the bottom about a foot, and I drug it across the top of his head. He just held it there and give it a little jig and got him to start moving toward it. Now he followed it up about two feet and then ate it. He couldn't stand that creamy. He said, I got to have some of that. <laughs> yes, sir. That looked good there. I said, I got to have some of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it works good. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we're getting ready to end this video. I hope you've seen something in the video that you enjoyed. I hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. If you enjoy content about fishing and how to be a better fisherman and catching more fish, then be sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. I like to always end my videos with God is good. Say it with me. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. I hope you and your family have a blessed day. And remember, it's a wildlife and I'll see you on the water.